This time we're going to show you a short video showing how to use Tiny Mesh for output control. We're going to do a simple exercise of turning on and off a lamp by sending a command through the gateway device. Before doing this in our preparation, uh, we have on our table uh, a gateway device that is configured in packet mode and we have a router device. Uh, these two devices have already been connected. Uh, we have joined them in the network. As you can see from the yellow LED flashing fast, it's connected to the gateway device. And for remote control, we have connected the uh, gateway device through a USB to our terminal emulator running on the computer. So that's where we're going to enter the command to control the devices. Now before starting control, first we need to make sure that the router is actually configured properly to perform output control of the lamp. This module is now connected to our lamp on GPIO number 7. So in order to control the lamp, we must, must set GPIS 07 to have the right function. Let's do this. We open the terminal window for the router. We set the terminal window to wait for the config signal. We set the router in config mode. We read back the configuration memory and then we scroll down to the area where we can actually control the output functionality of the device and we're looking for the set GPIO7 function and as we hover over set GPIO number 7 we can see that we can select either 0 which is digital output which is high on reset or 4 which is GPIO low on reset. Now this lamp is controlled such that the high output is going to enable the light. I want the device to start from reset with a lamp in off status. So in other words I want to select the GPIO is digital output low on reset which is the uh, setting number four so low on reset means that the lamp is going to be dark when we power it up fortunately this was already the setting uh, so let's see what happens when we send the command to this device now from the gateway device I'm going to exit the config mode and as I exit the config mode the router goes through a reset it reconnects to the network after a short few seconds and we can see now up on the gateway terminal window that the device has indeed reset as it sent us the power on reset message so now it is ready to receive commands I'm going to issue a command for turning on GPIO number 7. I will go through what the command contents are. 10 is the length of the command string. 3000 is the unique identity of the router that I'm going to control. 2 is the user selectable command number. 3 indicates that this is indeed a command coming from the gateway and going to the router device to control some functionality and the one command identity type indicates that it's a command to control a digital output. So the two payload bytes now I have set to hexadecimal 80 and hexadecimal 00. The first byte is the output set byte. And this byte being a 
bitmap of the eight GPIOs. If we look at hexadecimal eight zero, that means that this byte is a binary representation. It's represent, represented by the binary command one zero 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 zero. So in other words, I'm going to send a one to GPIO number seven. And since the second byte is zeros only, it means that I'm not going to turn off any outputs. So byte number one sets outputs, byte number two turns off outputs. So let's see what's going to happen now. I'm going to send this command and doing so by clicking the button. The light turns on because now we've switched on GPIO number 7. We have received, as we see up in the terminal window, a response from the module. Going back again to the contents of the packet, we can see that it was indeed uh, an acknowledge packet. And it was an acknowledge from router number 3. And it was an acknowledge of the receipt and execution of command number 02. So let's try to turn off the lab. Again, I enter a command that is almost similarly formatted. Same length, same address. Let's change to command number 3. And this time, I'm not going to switch on any outputs, so I'll zero out the first byte. But this time, I'm going to turn off output GPIO7, which is the highest bit in the last byte. So the last byte will now be represented by hexadecimal 80. So this command should now turn off GPIO7 on router number 3. So let's see what happens. I'm sending the command. The lamp turns off. And again, I'm receiving a response from the module. Again, I'm receiving it from module number three. I am receiving an acknowledge. And this time it is an acknowledge to pack number zero three. So in other words, we see that we have received a positive acknowledge from command number three that we issued to turn off the lamp.